Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a what sold video and it's going fast. So these are a pair of ultra men's running shoes. They are actually women's running shoes. I sold these for $41 and let's see how much profit I made. So sold for $41. Poshmark fee was $8.20. Net earnings were $32.80. And I believe I got them for, it was either six or eight dollars at DI, which is Deseret Industries, if you're not familiar with that. And yeah, so those were a great deal. I've been finding a few pairs of those recently. Um, I do have one pair that's a woman's and it's been returned twice because it doesn't have the size tag on the inside and it's driving me crazy, guys. So I had to uh, measure the inside of the sole to keep from having that problem. All right, these are a pair of women's Sam Edelman shoes. They are beautiful. They were a size 10. I've had them for a while. I ended up sending out an offer on those. So they sold for $16. The Poshmark fee was $3.20. Shipping discount was $2.02. And my net earnings were $10.78. I believe I got them for either $4 or $5. So I did make a profit on them, just not a very big one. So at least I made a profit and they are now out of my closet. Um, you're going to see people going back and forth through my uh, video, my son Hunter, because the kitty, our kitty Cheeto, who's an orange tabby, is constantly trying to get in and out of the Ikea bags because he has a thing for stuff that crinkles. If it's a bag, if it's a grocery bag, if it's my packing paper, um, he likes to take naps on my packing paper if I leave it out. <laughs> He's just a crazy cat. So anyway, on to the next item. Let's see what it is. Okay. This one is a Franklin Covey or Franklin Quest Covey leather planner with a crossbody strap. It was never even used. And um, so whenever I see ones like this that are in really good condition, I will grab them because uh, this one went um, out on a sale. So I still got $27, um, a $27 sale with this one. Poshmark fee was $5.40. Shipping discount was $2.02. .02, and my net earnings were $19.58 which wasn't too bad because it only cost me, I think it was $2. So usually every once in a while when I'm at the DI, I will actually look through that section that has that kind of stuff and grab it whenever I can. And this one was kind of awkward to pack because the shape just didn't work with all of my boxes. So I had to put paper in then put the product in and then put more paper in and more paper in which is always fun when stuff doesn't fit right that's why i think i like clothing and regular shoes because i don't have to guess on how i'm going to have them in there or what i'm going to pack them in because it's pretty much a given so that makes things so so much easier so I am so glad to be able to do one of these videos for you guys because I haven't been able to do it for a while. And while I am doing this voiceover, I am actually doing my other job, which is so much fun doing two things at once. All right. So this next item is a spider winter jacket. And I've had this one for like, oh my gosh, guys, I think it's like a year and a half. I don't know. Um, and I was starting to wonder if I should put it in the yard sale that I just did and ended up not doing it. And I'm glad that I did not. So it sold for $25. Um, 
and that's what I had it listed for so it wasn't on a sale or anything Poshmark fee was five dollars net earnings was twenty dollars and since I got this at the bins you know the same thing as the Goodwill outlet if you're not familiar with that it probably cost me like under a couple dollars so basically made around like 18 bucks on this piece so that made me pretty happy anyway I'm gonna be trying to load up videos for you guys on every Sunday and Wednesday if for some reason I don't have one loaded up and you don't see one it's because my life caught up with me and it's gotten crazy and sometimes that happens because I do Poshmark I do videos and I have a job on Friday Saturday and Sunday that I do from home now that's 20 hours a week on top of everything else that I need to take care of for my boys so sometimes it's a lot and I haven't had a video load up for a little bit like this last week because I had a molar pulled and bone grafting where it used to be and then ended up it ended up getting infected and so I've been on medicine fun stuff all right this next next piece is a vintage caftan and this one's a handmade one it did not have any tags in it whenever I see bright caftans especially vintage ones I will always grab them if they're a good price I believe I either got this one at the DI or the Goodwill outlet I can't remember which one um, but it sold for $25 um, no sale Poshmark fee was $5 net earnings was $20 and I was glad to see it go because it sold at the same time as the other caftan I still had in my Poshmark closet that hadn't sold yet so that made me pretty happy because I was starting to wonder if you know they were ones that people actually didn't like if you do find caftans that are vintage that have the little micro pleating from top all the way to bottom that look like an accordion those ones are good those ones sell pretty quick people love those this one is another vintage caftan but this one is a vintage Sears um, sorry I accidentally forgot to show the tag uh, this one's pretty cool I did not sell this one for as much as I would have liked to have um, it's I've had it for quite a while so this one only sold for $17 I believe I got it from either an estate sale or the bins um, so Poshmark fee was $3.40 and net earnings were $13.60. All right, next item is from Patagonia, but it's Pataloha. So it's um, like a line of Patagonia clothing that's like a Hawaiian theme. Uh, this is the only piece I've ever found and I got it at a goodwill an actual goodwill in Salt Lake City um, I believe it cost me five dollars or five ninety nine so technically I still made a profit because it sold for twenty five dollars Poshmark fee was five dollars and then my net earnings were twenty dollars even and uh, couldn't have asked for more than that I think it was pretty awesome it still took me like almost two years to sell this you know there's some stuff that I'm just like why do I keep it in my Poshmark inventory like I really need to go through and start being more picky um, yeah I feel like I have too much stuff I think I need to lower the amount of stuff I have and just be more picky about it this one I haven't had for very long actually I found this one at DI it has laser cutting on the little um, skirted spot on the bottom. Super cute. Um, it's Profile by Gotex. It sold for $15. Um, that was on a sale, a 40% off sale. So Poshmark fee was $3. Shipping discount, $2.02. .02. 
net earnings were $9.98, and I believe it cost me $4, and so I made $5.98 off this piece. So that made me pretty darn happy. All right, next is one that I only had for a week. This is Torrid. I will usually always buy Torrid. It's a lavender floral sleeveless wide leg jumpsuit in a size one, which is a 14 to 16. It sold for $19. And it was on a sale. So it was an offer actually. Uh, Poshmark fee was $3.80. Shipping discount was $2.02. Net earnings were $13.18. And I got it from that dollar bin sale that I went to recently. So it made me $12.18. Next are these really cool pants. They're by Venus. I got these at that dollar bin sale too. Uh, they are embroidered. They have floral embroidery on them. They are beautiful. If I fit them, I would have kept them. They sold for $15, Poshmark fee $3, shipping discount $2.02. I made a profit of $7.98. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my What Sold video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.